Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today we will be learning about the Zebra printing language in short ZPL so this is the language used by many of the printers and uh, using this language you can draw many shapes like circle, rectangle, square and uh, you can draw even draw a barcode you can encode um, text all this thing can be done using this zpl okay so this is a uh, example as you can see this is the zebra printing language and this is the output of this particular language see over here it is world's base cradles so is here and uh, the barcode and uh, this is the data which is actually enclosed by the barcode okay the box has been drawn all this using this particular language over here so we'll be using the Z zebra printing language to build our own customized uh, labels in this particular tutorials i'll be explaining all of the commands that that will be used to create the labels for creating the labels so from the application point of view you don't have to install for now anything all you have to do is go to this website it is called as labelary.com okay so this this will be the default page when in when you land on this page labelary.com so let me just show you over here label airy so when you just search it the first one when you click it this is the page what you will get yeah so and this is a particular template over here uh, the code has been written here, the Zebra language, and the output of this particular window is shown over here. So even you can manipulate over here. Whatever you do the manipulation, you will get the you know data over here. Okay, and I and be explaining all of it, like how to create barcode, this particular dimension, how to change the font, everything I'll be explaining you to how to build a box in this particular video. So let's get started. Okay. Yeah. So in any particular language, let's just say HTML, we have that start tag and the ending tag, right? So does the ZPL, the Zebra programming language or the Zebra printing language. Even if this have many, you can say multiple starting and ending tags in this particular language. So we'll be using this caret symbol x a this is the starting of a label format and caret x z this is the ending of that level format whatever you do you can whatever you want to print or you want to display on this particular label you have to uh, you have to keep all the stuff between these two particular tags a means starting z means ending so for now let's just try to print our name okay so before printing that uh, let's just say I'm a printer and if a command is sent to him sent to the printer saying that print print reshub so I know that I can print over here over here over here okay but what about the printers printer does not know that from where to start so to specify that from where to start we have different commands over here and the zpl is nothing but a set of commands which will help you to create these labels so let's just say we'll we want to you know print over here okay so let me help you with that and here we'll be using uh, the mathematical concept that is nothing but the coordinates x and y so let's just think this is a field okay and you want to tell the printer that this is your field origin so the command for that is f O F stands for field O for origin and let's just say 0 comma 0 so it will be over here exactly over here it will start printing okay and now you have to print what you have to print you have to give this caret FD is nothing but field data in this field what data you want to put data let's just say reshub YouTube okay okay now let's try to print it okay clicking over here see right now it is small but you can see it's at the top 
zero coordinate, x coordinate, and y coordinate zero zero. Correct. See, this is what we have specified the printer to print over here. Okay. Now, this is small, right? Let's just let's that bring us to our next command. Okay. You can either write it over. I'll show you two commands actually. Okay, how to change the font of particular thing. So let's just say a carrot. Always, always use this carrot. Without this, the printer won't understand. So let's just say CF. CF is nothing but change font. We can use zero. There is multiple zero, one, A, B, C, D. You can use anything. And the second parameter will be uh, height. Height of that particular, you know, the data. Let's just say we'll give it 60. Okay. Now when you click on this redraw, so see this is this is what happens. Hope you understand my first tutorial on this. I'll be explaining more of it in the next coming videos. So thank you guys. See you in the next videos.